Hello and welcome to Infinity. Something we've shown before is that we can add an extra pixel layer over here and that sometimes people fill it with grey and then put it in overlay mode but you don't have to put the grey in um, because when you go to overlay mode and you go to a brush and if you're painting white on it you're going to lighten areas if you're painting black you're going to darken things down as well however the times when it is useful to have grey because if I look at this now I can see where I painted the black but I can't see really see where I painted the white whereas if I had grey I could see it so let's try that let's start again We'll add a layer in here. Go to the flood fill tool and a useful way to go is normally you might see colours. The swatches tab here. This has got a little grey in the middle there so I can do a quick fill up with grey there. And I can then go to overlay mode. And I can paint with this. So let's make sure this is black and white. So I paint with white, lighten areas, I can set the opacity however, this is just roughly to show what I'm doing here, so it's kind of still exaggerated. And then if I hit X to go to black, I can add darkening areas within this, and so on. Here you go, I'm making hands look a bit old. And then if I want to see what I've done with it, just turn off the bottom layer now I can see all those strokes yeah so I can see where I'm dodging and burning I can switch backwards and forwards to this and I can play around with that okay that's one thing let's get rid of that again and what I can do as well which again is a little bit contrary is if I put in another layer and I fill that with grey. Although we talk about painting in black and white, sometimes people like to use the dodge and burn brushes, and there's a tip trick with that as well. So if I go to the this one here, I can say pick the dodge brush. I've got, these are just fully hard at the moment, but I can change between shadows and highlights. So there, I click once there, that shows me shadows. Click for midtones and highlights. You notice that the here they are slightly different. Then if I go to burn brush and shadows, midtones and highlights. You notice here that with the dodge brush. Shadows and midtones are fairly similar. Yeah, they're, they're, and this is more different, and these different. So you've got to take note of these. Generally, if you want to use it on this layer, then you know you're using the dodge and burn brush on the grey, which you can do as substitute for paint brushes. Use midtones on both. Okay, so. Let's start again. Do a quick one with that as well. So, put that in and do an overlay now. So, now I'll use the dodge and burn brush. I'll show you something with this as well. So, let's turn the hardness down to make this soft. You generally need to keep the opacity much higher than you would do with a paintbrush on this, but that's how it is. See, so I can paint on this, and the trick is if I just switch to the other brush, brush I hold on the Alt key, and now it's going to go dark. So I'm doing some aging here. I'll let off the Alt key 
I can do some whites. And so on. So there, now I can turn that off and on. And if I turn off the bottom layer, I can see there where I've done the dodging and burning. So there we go. How to do a little bit of aging, how to use the grey layer to see where you've done some dodge and burning. And hold on the Alt key if you're using dodge and burn to have quickly switch between one and the other. There we go. And thank you very much for watching.